Hello there and thanks for watching today's video. You might remember the last few videos I was talking about acid reflux and heartburn. And the plan today was to talk about hiatus hernia, which is a very common cause of acid reflux and heartburn. However, I thought that some people are not exactly uh, entirely sure what uh, a hernia means. Uh, so before going to discuss or talk about hiatus hernia, in this video, I'm going to just try and explain what a hernia is. And in my next video, then I'm going to conclude on what a hiatus hernia is. So please stay tuned and thanks for watching again. Okay, so to explain the model of a hernia, I have got this bag over here, which is um, a black bag. And this is full of recycling rubbish from my previous week. And inside this bag, I have got another bag that you can see, which is the pink bag. So think of this, these two bags as our tummy or our belly. Now the outside bag, which is the black bag I've shown over here, is the skin. The inside bag, um, which is the inside bag of our tummy, is the muscle. So our tummy has got, is like a double bag, uh, to make it very simple. Inside bag is made out of muscle, outside bag is made out of skin. Now this inside bag at the moment is full of uh, household recycling rubbish, plastic bags, etc, etc, and boxes. Um, in the human body, the inside bag of our tummy, which is made out of muscle, is full of intestine, stomach, liver, pancreas, uh, tubes, ovaries, blood vessels, etc. etc. However, the, uh, there is a problem with nature because nature had to make a few holes in the muscle to get things in and out of the muscle. So there are things coming in and out of her belly uh, in different places. Um, most of these are blood vessels because blood has to come out of the tummy somehow and go back into the tummy somehow to supply the skin and take blood away from the skin and some tubes come in and out of the tummy as well. So if you look at the uh, inside bag, so nature had to make a few holes in it. Yeah? Just had to make a few random holes here, there. They are in certain places in the body more common than others and these holes take blood vessels or certain other structures inside and outside our tummy. So I have made a little hole here. So I have made a little hole in the tummy um, and this pipe is coming out of it. Think of this hole as a hole which is given to us by nature, which is a hole in the muscle and the blood vessel is coming out of it. Yeah. Normally you can see the hole around the blood vessel is quite snug, it's quite tight and nothing else can go in and out of it. Sometimes what happens with age or with weakness or different things, this hole can become stretched out so it becomes much wider. Look at the size of it now. And the blood vessel is lying very um, loosely inside the hole. And the problem happens in that case that the inside bits of our tummy starts popping out. So you can see this bag is coming out now, together with the blood vessel. Blood vessel coming out there, this part of our bag coming out there. Now this bag, if you consider this as our intestine or fat inside the tummy, which is poking out of this hole, that makes it into a hernia. So this is what the hernia is. So we have holes in different parts of our tummy some to take blood vessels in, some to take the blood vessels out, some to take some tubes in and some to take some tubes out. And when those holes become too loose or too stretched out, the inside bits of our belly, uh, which is the intestine, etc., they start popping out of these holes. Now, they are all under the skin. So normally it's covered under the skin. So when we feel it through the skin, it feels like a lump under the skin. And when the patient coughs, this lump moves because the pressure is coming from inside the tummy when we cough. So those are one type of hernias which come out of holes which are already existing in, uh, in the lining of our tummy. However, then sometimes 
we go and see a surgeon and surgeon tells us that you need an operation. Now, to get inside the tummy, the surgeon has to cut the skin. So they make a hole in the skin with a knife or whatever. And then they go to the muscle. Now, all the things they need to operate on are inside the muscle, um, like intestine, stomach, pancreas, liver, whatever they want to cut out or repair. And then to get to it, they have to make a cut on the muscle. So they cut the muscle open. Yeah, so let's cut it open. Sorry, there we are. So they cut the muscle open. Now we got a big hole in the tummy, which is not nature made, which is man made. Now surgeon does, when he closes the belly up, they stitch this up and they stitch the muscle up and the skin up. So the hole that he'd made in the skin, he shuts that up as well. But sometimes, although the skin heals, because skin heals very quickly within a week or so, muscle takes few weeks to heal. And in that time, say infection happens or the, um, or the stitches cheese wire, then the inside hole opens up. Now this is a man-made hole and this is a man-made hernia. So there are certain holes which are given to us by nature. Yeah. And when they stretch up, it causes a hernia. And when sometimes the hole is made by man, and when that opens up underneath the skin, that becomes a man-made hernia. The technical name for this is an incisional hernia, basically a hernia coming out of a surgical scar. You can still see the skin on top is covered. So what you feel is the lump underneath the skin. So that is the basic anatomy of a hernia. We'll talk about hernias uh, much in more depth and deep, detail, different types of common hernias. Now, hernias can happen anywhere in the body. However, tummy hernias are the commonest one. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk about hiatus hernia. What do, I, do you mean by hiatus hernia? This is just to make you understand that hernias can happen and that's how it happened that things are protruding through the lining of the tummy, which is the muscle layer. Now, hernias can again be of two types. Yeah, internal hernias and external hernias. External hernia is what I've just described. They're happening on the outside of the body. Now, there are some hernias which happen on the inside of the tummy. Now, those hernias are happening because of muscle weakness inside the tummy and we cannot feel those hernias on the outside. We cannot feel those hernias. And hiatus hernia, which give rise to acid reflux, is one type of internal hernia. And we will discuss that in my next video, in which I'm going to tell you about what is a hiatus, where it is, and how hiatus hernia happens and what it does to us. Thank you for watching this video.